everybody. Happy Friday, Gomer. Super Saiyan Joku. Let me hear it for you, motherfuckers. Here you go, Joku. I want to have the world. The world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. <laughs> Cheers, Joku. And cheers to Gomer. He was going to hit it for Gomer. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie. Private Pile, I'm going to give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Cheers to Gomer. Cheers to everybody out there. Happy Friday. Yes. I'm drinking water. Let me get a public service announcement, motherfuckers. Last week, I told you, well, actually, I told you a long time ago already that I got sick really bad. You know what I'm saying? And last week, I didn't drink my usual seven beers. I drank like one and a half. It's shit. Uh, I cannot drink beer. It, it's, I don't know. Just everything's really bad right now. My health is deteriorating day by day. It's getting worse. Joe Biden, fuck you. I know they're the cost of this, those motherfuckers. Every day I go walk my dog. There's the, the camp trails in the middle of day two and at night. And they're just poisoning the air and everything. There's fluoride in, the, fluoride in the water and all that cheese and all that ass. Fuck you, Joe Biden. So yes, drink a beer now hurts. So I can't drink beer. And the worst thing in the world happened, my friends. I can't be smoking either. So yes, we're not smoking, which sucks ass. But Joku, I've moved on to you. Holy fuck. I gotta stop real quick my story because Anthony Timmons is here. <laughs> And fuck it, because this guy comments a lot. I'm going to hit it for you like this. Oh, live. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Timmons. Um, Joku. I went down to the head shop. Owned by the motherfucking Pakistani. And he swore they got these from Afghanistan. 5,280 uh, milligrams total. Each little strand is 528. Um, I took one a while ago. I'm fucking. I I'm, I I fucking feel. I, I I can't believe I'm higher than I've ever been. My body feels weird. I'll be honest. I'm really really fucking high, like really high. Ah, uh, it's amazing. I I think I don't I don't think I don't think they're supposed to be selling this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go buy some more. Uh, I only got a little piece. I was like, holy shit, I've been I like right now I really really fucking feel it. I was all like this is better than the shit I've been buying from from this fucking motherfucker down the street and shit. Holy shit. No, I just took a little piece, Gomer. Uh, I I didn't I was like stunned. I'm stunned and amazed. Uh this is gonna last me a long time. And I can tell you one thing that's way different than this. Like, I can tell you that I could probably smoke that shit that motherfucker sold me down the street. And, uh, and go about my day. If I take this, I cannot go about my day. I better just be chilling here. <laughs> just, that's the way I feel right now, bro. I cannot leave the house and do anything right now. <laughs> um, you guys are lucky I'm doing this show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no more smoking and no more drinking beer. All right. But I got a theory. Fucking Joe Biden, fuck you. I'm going to defeat you in your fucking uh, communist ways trying to poison me. I got a theory. And my theory is that I think if I, if I fucking take a tequila shot, I'll say Cuervo, 80 proof. Because it's not like, like carbonated and shit like beer. And it's got wheat and all that ass and, you know, ass. 
This is like straight out of a plant, I think. You know, they just take out the plant and they drain it and you get this white shit right here. White liquid. Um, I think it'll be safe. So I'm gonna take half a shot. Uh if I start feeling pain in the next couple of minutes, then we know we shouldn't take anymore. But I think this is gonna work, fellas. You know, fuck you, Joe Biden. I'll find a way to defeat you. Let's see. I'll take half. Alright, that that's that's a little bit more than half. <laughs> uh, this might uh, be probably the worst decision I've made all week. Because uh, I haven't drank or smoked at all. Uh. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I think it's going to work because technically with tequila, I drink less and get the same levels as fucked up as, you know, drinking more. Hey, and I thought these were gummies. I thought they were gummies. And I went to that Pakistani motherfucker because he told me just take half so you don't so you know how it feels. And, and then when I opened it up, it's literally all smushed a big ball. And it's not even gummies. It's like fruit roll ups. But since they're all smudged. Everything's broken and beat and then I went back and I'm like, how am I supposed to know how much to take? You want me to die on this or what? How much is a piece? Look at this ass. You sold me. I thought it was gummies. And he says, I did it. He goes, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know what was in it. I just know that's the hardest stuff I have. He told me. <laughs> and he goes, here, take this as compensation. He goes, just to get a little piece. He goes, like a little piece like this. I was like, all right. But he gave me these. I haven't opened these. But look what these say, Joku. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in the right way. Uh, 2,000 milligrams for these, uh, toad, 2,000 milligrams. Oh my God. It says D9, THCA, THCA, B, THCP, THCP, orange pineapple. They're fucking huge, and they're like this feels like gummies. I just a little piece probably fucks you up for the whole day. I bet. Uh, uh, it'll help my channel without drinking and smoking. Yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the last time I drank Cuervo, I woke up half naked on the hood of a truck. I didn't remember anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um. Uh, Pray for the son of man, fellas! Uh, cause it, it's getting worse! <laughs> Cheers! Here's drinking the water. We'll drink, we'll, we'll drink more, more tequila later when Jose Trevino shows up. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Anyways, let's keep going with the show, motherfuckers. Let's start this ass. Remember that now we're back on the main channel. We, the emergency underground broadcast is for when, whenever we get banned. And the illegal broadcast channel, which I suggest a lot of you should fucking be subscribing to the illegal one. Because we stream pay-per-views, WEs, and fucking AWs, and I want to stream the Tyson fucking fight. We'll talk about that later tonight. I don't want to get into it right now. Uh, but since WE gonna put their pay-per-view in the middle of the day and shit, because they're going to another country trying to make money and shit. You dumbass. Uh, we can't watch it because I'll be working. So the next one we're going to watch won't be until the 30th of June at 6 p.m. Forbidden Door. And I think it's going to be really good because it's not, for the first time, it's not just AEW and New Japan. But it's going to include CMML, L, L, or whatever. Uh, I And Stardom. That's fucking insane. I think maybe AAA. I don't know what's going on there. But that's the first Forbidden Door with at least four companies participating in it. We're getting closer, fellas, to a WWE X AEW pay-per-view two years from now. That's what I say. Two years from now. Hopefully. I don't know. Three. Maybe, maybe three. AEW, this past Wednesday, was a goddamn good show. Uh, it was probably the best one I've seen in months. I was like, damn, that was a good show. Uh, but, oh, well. Make sure you guys subscribe to this ass. Uh, you know how we do when we do it. It is that we do. 
But let's get into it. Our social media, Cinnamon665 for the X officially. Uh, IG is at the Underground Broadcast and uh, with the underscores and shit. And then it's a uh, fucking uh, TikTok. We're not doing it anymore. It exists and shit. But if you want to, you can go ahead and do that or whatever. But we're not uploading anything anymore. I'm tired of getting banned all the time and shit. Fuck you. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways. Um, another thing uh, that I want to say is that uh, since we're no longer doing TikTok, we're going to stick on the YouTube. And we got one strike already. Uh, two more. And we're officially banned. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. God damn it. Anyways, let's keep going. We're going to start with the comments, motherfuckers. Here we go. First one right here is uh, David Letarte214. And he's got Wong and shit. Oh, bribe the world. Cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> From the Pumpkin Patch, po Patch Podcast. Uh, and exposing pedophiles across America. Chairs. On YouTube. And shit. And weirdos. Who fucking stream in the dark. With their makeup on. And, and their fucking bandanas. And, and, and braids. And shit. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of people. That's the kind of people this son of a bitch uh, uh, supports. <laughs> Anyways. David Letharte. 214 uh, on the gun attack Snyder. He says, Trust me, bro. But for what? Hey, I I don't even know if are you really Wong? Benedict Wong? I mean, I don't know if I should trust you, David Latorte. Already, that's like the 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 shadiest Wong picture you could have put on your avatar and shit. All right. Well, I mean, I don't know. Cheers, uh, David Latarte. Uh, I don't know if I should trust you though. Cheers. Uh, all right. All right. Let's see. Oh, Brime, Brime the world ten uh, on the on the on the podcast video. He says, "Let's go." Thanks for the shout out. And again, thanks for coming on and taking us based as fuck. Oh, talking to us based as fuck. I can't wait till the next episode. GGS, my guy. I don't know what GGS means. Gays, ga uh, gags on what? Gays, gags on schlongs. Gays, gag on schlongs, my guy. Okay. Uh, that's very interesting, Brian the World. Cheers! Thank you, bros. <laughs> the fuck does JGDS mean, motherfuckers? You understand? You're talking to an old man here. You understand the new slang and shit. Uh, <laughs> good game, my god. Good games. <laughs> oh, my god. All right, all right, all right. Cheers, uh, Brian. Thank you for commenting, motherfucker. Thank you for being here, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this motherfucker, uh, J Hart W. He says, hashtag son of man out of context. And I'll play it right now. And he says, great show, by the way. Here we go. This is me out of context that he wanted you all to see. She literally has a fan underneath her pussy trying to throw her, the, her pheromones at him. And this motherfucker's on his phone. It's all true. It's all true. You go back and you watch the whole thing. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Cheers, J Hart W. Motherfucker. Alright. Oh, the con. Let me play this fucking intro for this motherfucker. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slot ready, cause the cunt is here. 
The cunt, uh, before I read his comment, the cunt sent me this fucking shit about, like, that he's, this, he lives in Australia, and this is the kind of shit this motherfucker deals with every day. He woke up, he was gonna go outside, take out the trash, and there's a big fucking python snake ready to eat him. And shit. So he grabbed a shovel and he killed it. <laughs> and he sent me the pictures, uh, of... <laughs> Of the dead snake, he gets a big motherfucker. It looks like he just ate. It looks like it was fat in the middle and shit. Uh, that's crazy, cunt. Y'all don't know the cunt is on uh this website called Public Tea or T Public. And he sells t-shirts from his designs, Lord B8. You see those shits? That fucking dragon's the shit. He also sells tarot cards. Uh, he's got a unique art style, and he sells his ass, and it's fucking cool as fuck. He actually did some of our shirts for the last podcast. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do for this broadcast, but I will think of something. And he also on this Ko-Fi as Lord VB, and he sells his comic books there, and they're trippy as fuck. They remind me of, like, I don't know, like, really grungy, Beavis and Butthead type of shit. It's crazy. And it's parodies, you know, he does parodies of shit. Like the Stoner Rangers instead of the Power Rangers. So it's pretty cool. Go ahead and watch that shit. Here's the snake he killed. But anyways, the cunt on the comments video says, God damn, Susan's goons definitely shadow banned you. That's probably why you haven't been getting my notifications. That ass Cardi B lets her beef curtains flap in the breeze and doesn't get banned. Hashtag woke pack for life. And Gomer replies to him. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're a bunch of cunts. Cheers at the cunt. Hey, cheers, you motherfuckers, and it's always live. Ah, uh, yeah, cheers, the cunt, you son of a bitch. <sighs> On the son of man is a Swifty video. Uh, the cunt says. Taylor Swift ain't gonna do a comic book movie. She's too busy writing puberty music and psy oping the world with the CIA. They're probably gonna make the Swifties into an army and end the Israeli Palestine Palestinian war. Oh, cheers! <laughs> the a psy op. Man, I haven't gone that far in the rabbit hole to find, like, I know there's some shit about Taylor Swift and shit, uh, but I don't, I'm afraid to go that far in the rabbit hole. I'm like, I got to John F.K. Jr. and I started getting scared and I said, all right, let's just start watching something else. <laughs> Anyways, all right, all right, enough with the going down the rabbit hole on YouTube and shit. Uh, a new guy. Derek Mejia? This guy is a Mexican. Or a Spaniard. That means a white Mexican. Anyways. Uh, he says... Clickbait! Oh, yeah! <laughs> and it fucking worked, you mark! Cheers! <laughs> it's working, fellas. I told you. If I put these elaborate fucking, like, you know, shit, like, oh, this fucking guy and shit, and they were like, oh, shit, and they click on it, and it's not even that. Oh, yeah, that's how you get them. And we got one. We got you, Derek Mejia. We got you. Son of a bitch. Thank you for the view. Congratulations. Welcome to the underground broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you subscribed. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, fellas, that tequila shot didn't hurt at all, and it hasn't hurt. I'm telling you, like, right? If I drink one sip of beer within the fucking two minutes, it's fucking painful. I don't even know how I drank one and a half last Friday. I regretted it the next day. I was fucking, that's why I didn't finish the other one. I was like, fuck, this sucks, but I kept doing the show. I don't feel shit with this. And I already feel buzzed, too. Cheers! <laughs> alright, alright. Let's keep going. Rocco, fuck my life. Let me hit it for the Satanist.
Uh, where are you at, you dick? Here it is. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco! Uh, he puts a lot of laughing emojis. And he says, this one make me laugh. Hashtag son of man out of context. Fuck you, Rocco. Anyways, this is what he put. Son of a bitch. Travis Scott there. Fuck you, Rocco. Uh, that was me uh, celebrating uh, the dynasty that used to be Bad Boy Records. Now it's been tainted by tra sex trafficking, uh, uh, women abuse, and mo sexual molestations of both men and women. Uh, and, f and, and, and drug induced orgies. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's let's keep going. This is god damn it. That's really bad. Fuck you, Rocco. You see what you've done? Son of a bitch. Uh oh David Latarte, uh, the Wong guy from earlier. He he commented on the Nicki Minaj arrested on drug possession. He says I grew up in the Netherlands. Oh shit, this guy's white. And while yes, there are plenty of drugs everywhere, no, you still cannot board a plane with them. Was she trying to get on the plane? I honestly don't even know. Um, eh, you know what? I still say, fuck you, you're over there. You should be able to drink and smoke wherever you are. You go to New Orleans, over here. You go and you buy a beer or a drink or some shit. You know, and then you just fucking uh, pop it open as soon as you walk out of the store. You walk down the street drinking, getting drunk in the middle of the day. Even if it's 10 in the morning, I'll tell you it's legal. It's the way it should be everywhere. All right? There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody be happy. You have to pay attention when you're driving. You don't want to fuck someone up because they're drunk walking the street. But, you know, I'm just saying, you know, everyone follows the rules. It's perfect society. Cheers. David Latarte. From the Netherlands! Oh, cheers! <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see who else. Oh, Anthony Timmons. Here we go. We're going to read your shit, Timmons. It says, don't be too hard on them, son. They can't help it if they're a bunch of talentless pieces of shits. I mean, hacks. He's talking about the mummy prequel in in in, in the works that I, that I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, God damn it! I just hate when they take something that I grew up with because I just know they're gonna shit all over it. That's really what I hate about it, and that's the track record they've shown us. And because that's the people that are currently employed in these fucking studios and ass. So I mean, that's just a, you know what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? If you would employ everybody who didn't go to college and works on YouTube, those motherfuckers give you better shit than the motherfuckers who went to college because their fucking mom and dads paid all their shit, but they never had a, a fucking a, a salt of grain of talent in their bodies. Sons of bitches. Privilege hacks. And that's why we get shitty ass right now, motherfuckers in Hollywood. Oh, I'm gay and I'm black. Oh, here you go. Come on in. You're vice president of the company. Cheers. That's what it is nowadays. Anyways. Hey, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're getting all crazy and shit, motherfuckers. You always bring the bad side out of me, you fucking guys. I hate the comments. Anyways. Uh, Doug Unfunny, this fucking guy. It's been a while. Let me hit it for this guy. Well, get fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he says... On the Suns, jealousy comes out because of the Tyson and 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 uh, Jake Paul fight. Hey, son of man, they canceled the fight. Hey, son of a bitch, that's a topic for tonight, motherfucker. Anyways, I feel bad for Tyson. Hopefully, they can do this someday. Paul, both of them need their asses beat. LOL. Cheers. Hashtag. Whoa. 
Uh, fuck you. I'm not gonna give you my comments because they're the topic for tonight. You fucking dug on funny. You and Gomer, not y'all sons of bitches. Always trying to fucking steal the spotlight from the show. Talking about shit that we're gonna talk about later. Fuck you. Cheers. And it's always. Live. Cheers, motherfuckers. We love you. Alright, let's see what else is going on. Oh, speaking of Gomer Kyle, uh, the underground broadcast reading comments says, "Glad you're reaching new folks, my brother. I will, I will say, pumpkin patch. That's what they call the people in jail in the orange. <laughs> Unless you're a trustee. Anyways, cheers. Hashtag." <laughs> Hashtag woke. Oh shit! Sorry. Live. <laughs> I like Kenny Omega. <laughs> Cheers, Gomer. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we love you. Um. Oh, on the James Gunn throw shade at Snyder. Mr. Sinister Reviews. I don't know what his avatar is. It's like some crazy shit that I, I... It's like Superman or Cyborg Superman or Bizarro or some ass. But he says, Snyder can be a hit or miss, but he gave us a phenomenal Justice League and set up... Um... Uh, he's just not a good storyteller, man. He's a good visual fucking director and shit. And a hit and miss, yeah, because, well, Watchmen, he didn't write it. He just fucking did it frame by frame, which was, that's why it was badass Watchmen. Uh, but I'll give it up to him on 300. 300 was fucking badass. And uh, and I liked it. Uh, but oh well. Uh, another guy, the usurper. Holy shit. Uh, he said, holy fuck, before I even read, I'm sorry, the usurper, but none other than the Philippines' very own Andrew Sanchez just showed up! We don't test any of our products on animals. We use Filipino children. Hey! Cheers, Sanchez! <laughs> and it's always... Yo, and guess what? Because you're here, I'm giving you a half. Right here. A Cuervo half shot. For you, Sanchez. All the way from the Philippines. Oh, chilling with us over here in America. That's crazy. Cheers, Sanchez. Woo. <laughs> well, yeah. Cheers. Friday night. <sighs> oh, okay. Sorry. I, I don't give a fuck. This is an OG Woke Pack member. Andrew Sanchez will interrupt the whole show for you OGers, motherfuckers. OGs are the motherfuckers that have the intros because they've been here the three years when the channel died. And we now we became the underground broadcast. Uh, what it used to be. If, you, if you're that curious, you could find old playlists on the main channel and, and you can find the old videos, but you have to scroll all, all, all way back. But this is, four, this is year number four, technically year number one. For the underground broadcast. Cheers. Uh, but uh, the usurper. Oh. Replied. And he said about Zack Snyder. He said great casting. Horrible direction. Uh, that's another thing that he does. I like his casting. When he casts people for his movies. He does a good job on that shit. And the directing, like I said, he's a good visual guy. He just didn't know how to write a story. That's all, man. That's all I was saying. Gomer on the, the nitty, uh, gritty, gritty, diddy video. He says, 
Is this a jackass that called Trump a real bad guy? Go to hell? Did he? And take the other pervs with you on the way to meet Epstein again? Hashtag Trump 2024. Hashtag. Hey, Gomer, I don't know why I like you associating uh, hashtag Wolfpack for life next to all these other weird hashtags, but let me just read the next one. Hashtag release the Epstein flight logs. Are you trying to get our channel investigated by the fucking FBI, son of a bitch? <laughs> Cheers, Gomer! <laughs> <laughs> You fucking guy. All right, all right. Let's see what else says. Hey, Gomer, uh, the Nicky with the eyes arrested on drug possessions. He says, you know, I normally don't fap to black girls, but damn it, I have to with Nikki. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I added that. I had to. Uh, yeah, Nikki's hot. I like her, man. You know, even if it's all plastic and, and all, like, fucking enhanced, you know, it's, uh, it's fucking nice. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's well taken care of. Millions of dollars, all right? They, they tear, take care of that body. Not like me. I'm wasting away every day. Fuck. Pray for the son of man and his health. Anyways. Anthony Timmons. On the real reason no one goes to the theaters anymore. He says, theaters are way too expensive. And you're right, son. People do ruin the experience. People do ruin the experience. There was a fucking... Um... I don't even know what Marvel movie it was. All I know is that Tony Stark was on the screen. And he was saying fucking funny stuff. And I understand you think it's funny... But the lady next to me was screaming, laughing, like, ah, ha, ha, ha. and I was just like, come on, bro. Like, fuck you. I can't even hear what he's saying because you're screaming, laughing. Dumb bitch. Pisses me off. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's my biggest complaint is that there's just people there, man. There's just people there. Plain and simple. When I went to go see Spider-Man. No way home. I bought the, the seats in front of me and the seats beside me and the seats. Uh, uh, no, because I was in the very back, but I uh, pretty much everything around me. So there was no one around me. I was by myself. I bought all the tickets. I had money back then. Joe Biden, you fucked us. Anyways, keep going. Timmons, you're, you're bringing me back to bad memories. Um. Oh. It's none other. Then Robo Iger, the yellowest motherfucker that's ever set foot on this fucking broadcast. Let me hit for this asshole. Konnichiwa. Oh, and Robo, I did something special for you. I said, you know what? This guy is a, a well. He he's not the one of the original OGs, but he's he's still an OG. I said everybody's an OG from the past three years for sure. Um, but I the originals, you know the originals, the three originals, three pillars of this channel: Gomer, Indy, and Rocco. Gomer's always here. God bless you, Gomer. Um, but fucking Robo is an OG, and he's an Asian. Motherfucker, and I decided to do something special for you, Robo, for the first time, and probably from now on, if it's a hit. But we've been using AI a lot on this channel. Uh, God bless the artificial intelligence that will become our fucking ruler in the next five to six years. Uh, because without it, none of this could have been possible. But now, because of AI, we can finally hear what Robo, this Asian, uh, Floridan resident sounds like. So here we go. Here is Robo Igert reading his comments thanks to AI.
Man talk about the most truthful thing you have ever said on this channel. Actually, this may be the only truthful thing you've said on this channel. I tapped the whole family to see planet of the Earth this past weekend, and spent nearly 200 American dollars on all of us, and then I took them out to dinner. Fuck my life. Cheer soon of man. Keep up the good work. Hashtag Wolfpack for life. Yes! Oh my god! That was fucking badass! Cheers, Robo! Oh, I, I, I understood a lot of it. I understood a lot of it. That was badass. You know, that's authentic right there and shit. That's like as authentic as it can get. Cheers, Robo Haggard, Chinese motherfucker. Let me know we got the accent right. I think it did a bit. I think it did a bit, pretty good job. The AI. Oh, cheers, Robo. We love you. I'm gonna hit your intro one more time, motherfucker. Konnichiwa. I'm over there representing with the authentic fucking uh, Chinese sounds. It's fucking badass. All right, let's move on to the next comment. Oh, Anthony Timmons. Uh, on the sun hates James Gunn simps. James Gunn is a douchebag. Screw that guy, son. Oh, James. <laughs> That's fucking badass. Thanks, Tibbets. Alright, let's see what else. Oh, shit. It's none other than Super Saiyan Joku. And the real reason no one is going to the theaters. He says, I would like to take this moment to say I'm not sorry for bringing my wild animals slash kids to the movies. I just like to have everyone as miserable as me. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> I just like <laughs> crying, screaming, fighting, bathroom breaks after I get back from it. He goes, I don't, and don't let me start about the wife nagging popcorn. Do the row shrek. Oh, this guy. You're welcome. Ha ha ha. Cheers, my flowers. Hashtag. <laughs> You fucking troll, you motherfucker. You're the reason the theaters are dying and, and Hollywood is losing money, Joku, because you motherfuckers like you and your wild families. <laughs> yeah! We love you. Out. That's badass. <laughs> uh, Super Saiyan Joku on Diddy's Empire is over. He says take that key please and he's talking about the key to the city that they were gonna take to to diddy take it back from him take that key please i hear movement in my house from time to time plus i get blacked out drunk and wake up like a cat shit in my mouth and i have no cat just let me know next time son of man meow <laughs> hashtag no diddy cheers more flowers Oh my god, you never know with Diddy, bro. He has the key to everyone in the city. That's dangerous to have that man with a key. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and that was the last comment. I'm just gonna say, man, the th those were fucking badass comments. Uh, cheers to y'all. Cheers, cheers are the real. Mm. I hey, appreciate you guys. This is probably the most people that's ever been here for reading the comments. We haven't even started the fucking show, for fuck's sakes. What's going on? We're going viral. Fuck. Cheers! <laughs> alright, alright. Anyways. And like and subscribe and all that fucking ass bullshit people talk about. And all that shit. Alright, we're done with the goddamn uh, uh, comments and let's get into the, start, start, start the fucking show already and let's get into the weekly pop culture breakdown.
And this week, convicted liar Alex Jones cried on his show. I'm gonna show you this video and I'll loop it twice so you fucking see the severity of the situation and then we'll talk about it. At the end of the day, we're gonna beat these people. <laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic here, but it's been a hard fight. And these people hate our children. Just take more calls. Go ahead. There's an expert. At the end of the day, we're going to beat these people. <laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic here, but it's been a hard fight. And these people hate our children. Going to the end of the day. Oh my god. So, the lawsuit says he has to pay them $1.5 billion. I don't know why. People spread lies all the time. I mean, I hope we don't get famous because everyone's going to sue us for billions of dollars because that's all this fucking broadcast is. <laughs> Bunch of fucking lies. Oh, uh, but they wanted to. They wanted to sell the company to get money. <laughs> they want to take everything, and get him naked, and leave him there in the street, broken, nothing left in his life. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel about this. This guy's a fucking dumbass for being on here crying and shit. You know what I'm saying? My, my fucking body is falling apart. Literally wasting away day by day. And I'm here taking tequila shots with these motherfuckers. This pussy's on here crying. Fuck you. Dumbass. Joe Biden's poisoning the shit out of the air. Fucking with my chemtrails poisoning my body. Everything hurts when I breathe, when I drink. Everything. When I eat. This son of a bitch. There's fluoride in the water. They're making the frogs gay. An ass! You're over there crying, you pussy. You dumbass. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. This dumbass going on here crying about, oh, oh they're taking my business. Fuck you! Alright? You're a dumbass for fucking lying. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, all right, we're, we're gonna move on. All right, this controversial. This motherfucker's always trying to like start shit and shit. I don't want to be involved in fucking shit that might get us blocked on YouTube. All right, we're not we're not the pumpkin patch motherfuckers. Get into all the CPs and shit. All right, we're not doing that. That's not this kind of channel. Not anymore. <laughs> he who should not be named was into that CP shit. Not anymore. Not in this channel. It's out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, <laughs> uh, you need to bring AJ Silico on this bitch. <laughs> oh, that would be so awesome. Um, anyways, let's move on with the pop culture news. Because guess what? Sean Kingston and his ma mom, Mike. Well, I don't know if it's Mike. I don't know how they say it over there in Jamaica. Kingston, Jamaica. Remember this guy? Beautiful girl. That's why it'll never work. You make me suicidal. Suicidal when you say it's over. Cheers. Remember that? This guy and his mom were in fucking LA doing a, a concert for a few thousand dollars. You know, whatever the fuck. They need some money. You know, buy some drugs, some hookers, some alcohol, some weed. Maybe maybe some food. I don't know. Maybe some food. You know, it's not just drugs and fun, all right? So people got to eat, motherfuckers. Um, well, they got fucking pulled over and arrested and booked. There's a warrant for your arrest over there in Florida. We're taking your ass, hauling your ass all the way back there in chain, chain cuffs and shit. And it turns out that they fucking raided his house, all the cops and shit over there in Miami, Dade and shit. He had bought in the, the house that was filmed in Bad Boys 1, the one with the guy in Colombia and shit. 
and all the rats were in there and shit. But this guy went and bought it and shit. They went in there. They booked everybody who was all the workers, the sex workers, everybody who was there. And, and they took everything. They took the Lambo. They said the Lamborghini Diablo fucking S-Series fucking with the rims and shit. New tinted windows. You see, you see your own face reflected off of that bitch. That's expensive as fuck. It looks like a mirror and shit. They took it away. They brought a U-Haul in there And they started hauling everything The furniture, the TV, refrigerators The fucking food The water out of the pool They emptied that son of a bitch They said fuck that They even took the little fucking The dogs and the cats There's a, the, the, there's the housekeeper right there saying bye to the cats And the little dogs Bye, they're taking them away They said they're taking everything away You wanna know why? Because they're accusing these motherfuckers of fucking uh stealing no not stealing well technically yeah stealing but more than a million dollars in fucking fraud yeah apparently they stole almost five hundred thousand dollars in jewelry two hundred thousand dollars from bank of america from loans and shit one hundred sixty thousand dollars from the escalate dealer because they got an escalate and more than $100,000 from the First Republic Bank from Jamaica, come on. Yeah. $86,000 from the maker of the customized beds and shit. Yeah. And a bunch of other expenses, you know, ordering from fucking Walmart online and that shit. They, they have the new drones that takes you the food and drops it off and shit. This motherfucker has money to pay for that ass. Or at least everyone thought they did. Because apparently... Him and his mom would go to these places and be like, I'm Sean Kingston. I could pay. Don't worry. Just give me the items. I the, the, the checks in the mail, man. And they fucking just would leave with and the people would give them these things. Thinking, nah, he's going to pay us next week and shit. Look at his mom. Yeah, they got money. Look, they're wearing look at the chains. They're wearing the rings. Don't worry. Give them the stuff. They'll come back and give us the money. But they never did. And so everything this motherfucker owned, everything, was not even paid for. <laughs> Cheers! Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, here they are, the criminals, mom and son. And you know what? They even found out that the wigs that the mom was wearing wasn't even p paid for. So they snatched that shit off her head. Give me that shit. And they snatched it off her head and shit. Yeah, here they are. Sean Kiss in there looking like Biggie Smalls with a lazy eye. And his bald mom looking like, like a fat Jada Pink and, and shit. Oh, oh, how the mighty have fallen. This is a... A scams that people drew in their celebrities. They try to just get away with giving me some free stuff. I'll pay for it later and shit. Yeah, it doesn't work like that, motherfuckers. Let it be known, any motherfuckers trying to come out there and trying to be all like, you know, uh, I'm rich and powerful. Fuck you. Do you have the money? Let me see the money. The money talks. I don't give a fuck who you are, little Wayne. Give me some money. That's what I'm going to say. You want to come on this show right here for exposure? All right. It's going to be 10 grand. You pay us, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Not to these criminals. Um, yeah, this guy's fucked and he probably deserves it. Him and his mom for trying to get scam people out of fucking luxuries and ass. Fuck you. Yeah, anyways. Let me say another thing. That motherfucker, I forget who it was. Rocco or some of the motherfucking assholes in the comments. They fuck everything up. Uh, but he said, uh, <laughs> that the Tyson... And Jason Logan, Jake Paul, or whatever this faggot's name is, uh, the the fight is canceled because this son of a bitch has ulcerated ulcers and shit. That's probably what's wrong with me, but I don't have money to go get checked and buy this economy, so I'm over here taking tequila shots with these assholes on a Friday night. Fuck you, Mike Tyson. Having money. Give him a stick there and a little chair to walk with some little fucking little motherfucker just wheeling around and shit. Anyways.
The fight's canceled. That's it. They can't do it anymore. Because he punches him in the stomach. Tyson's out. That's it. They're not fair fight. Motherfuckers. God damn it. What a damn shame is what I say. Because it's just like everyone in the world, we want to see Mike Tyson beat the shit out of this privileged white boy. There is still hope that this might happen. Maybe next year. I don't know. I just said, that's it. It's over. Tyson, you're not going to have another fight ever again. That's it. It's over, bro. Yeah, you fucked up. You fucked up. You should have eaten the goddamn enchilada to burritos and all that ass before you got on the plane, you dumbass. That's where you fucked up. You're older than I am. Look at me. I'm dying. You idiot. Over there eating burritos and ass before getting on a plane. Dumbass. Fuck you, Jake Paul, with your stupid finger and shit. Who do you think you are, pussy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're lucky I'm not big and know how to fight. Because then probably I might have a little bit of a chance. But I probably need to like sneak up on you with a bat. Hit you over the head, motherfucker. Never wake up again. Oh, yeah. Cheers! <laughs> Alright, anyways, we're done talking about these pussies. Well, not Mike Tyson, but these other motherfuckers. All right, this was officially announced this week, fellas. But apparently, the site formerly known as Twitter, now officially known as X.com, will officially allow pornography without any bans or repercussions. I mean, like, I, I think my account subscribed to like 24 different accounts that already showed porn before even Elon Musk bought it. I mean, what's going on? Wasn't it always allowed? I don't understand these new rules and shit. Full or partial nudity, close-ups of genitalia. What about the insides of the ass and the breasts? It says right there, butt ducks. But what about the insides? Can we put cameras up in there? Explicit or implied sexual behaviors. What do you mean implied? Simulated acts such as sexual intercourse and other sexual acts. Well, I mean, I mean, I had already seen all that ass. I'm just saying. So, I mean, I guess the real question is how are you going to monitor and keep the CP and motherfuckers like AJ Syndico and everybody over there in the pumpkin patch from getting on this bitch. <laughs> Cheers, pumpkin patch! We love you. Uh, how are you going to stop all the weirdos from getting on this shit and start putting fucking ass like that? Yeah. Don't make me say what CP is because I would get banned. All right? I already saw what's going on, motherfuckers. I'm learning the language on the internet, you fucking nerds. Think you're better than me? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I think this is... Uh, I mean, I didn't even see why there was a ban. There was already shit. I mean, you see people getting their heads cut off and getting burnt alive and explosions on Twitter. Uh, so I don't even know what the, what the fucking point of this. I was already seeing all this. Already dick going in, dick going in. The only thing we're missing is the, the, the camera inside. I'm trying to tell the promoting this. Let's see some camera on the insides. That's what we need to see. I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit out there. It hasn't been done before. But I think if you show people what it looks on the inside, what's happening. I think they'll be into it. I think they will. You just got to make more, more of it, you know. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, cheers. Oh my god. All right. Well, let's get into the main attraction of tonight for the pop culture breakdown. And it's none other than the Yeezys! <laughs> and this week, he's getting sued by an ex employee, Lauren Pisco. Coquitia, ta-da. Or some shit. 
She's Italian or French or some ass. She's foreign with big titties. Fucking tight pussy. Um, yeah, she's fucking hot as fuck. Well, she's also an ex-OnlyFans model that used to make one million dollars a year showing her tits in her ass and shoving pickles and fucking cucumbers in her fucking dick or whatever. Uh, from the insides, I'm telling you, that we need to put cameras on the inside. That shit's a money maker, I'm telling you. Anyways, um, so yeah, and one day, Jay-Z was masturbating, uh, and his wife was getting fucked by some guys, and Jay-Z looked in his phone, and he saw this OnlyFans chick, and he hit her on the DMs, and he said, I'm masturbating to you right now while my wife is getting fucked by guys, and I wanted to know if you want to work for me. And she goes, well, I already make a million dollars, motherfucker. And Ye Zay's all like, fuck your million dollars. I'll give you three million dollars a year. And you don't have to fucking put pickles in your ass. And she said, fuck yeah. And so he hired her. And so then once she fucking worked for Ye Zay and shit, she is now claiming that the Ye Zay would call her and say, guess what, bitch? I'm fucking masturbating right now. And I'm watching my girl getting fucked. Because what are you doing? That's the kind of shit he would do all the time. And this chick was all like... And he would also send me pictures of him having sex with his wife or guys fucking his wife. And and he would always say that he wanted a girlfriend and he wanted the girlfriend to get fucked by him and then go cheat on him and then send them pictures of him, her cheating on with him or with other guys getting fucked. And that's what he wanted. And then when she fucking left... Uh, or quit or whatever fired whatever the fuck you want to call it you know she signed the paper and he gave her three million dollars after even working for three million dollars a year when she left when she got fired or she quit they gave her three million dollars extra besides the three million dollars a year she was already making and so now she's suing him for harassment and sexual ass and, and uh, all this like porn and shit and yes he's saying it's a lie this isn't true. This is slander. There's no end hell. This motherfucker is faithful to his wife. He doesn't need to be sending this bitch pictures of his dick. You know? He needs to be putting, sending us pictures of his dick or his wife getting fucked by guys. I mean, that's what the world sees anyways. What the fuck? That's what I'm trying to say. But since we are talking about his wife getting fucked by guys, guess what, fellas? She was seen in motherfucking Italia. With the Yeezy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was getting off of the car in high heels with a one-piece rubber apron tucked under her pussy and ass. Clipped back on her neck. Um, and they're like, I think that uh, there's a guy there that's like, he's shocked. He doesn't know what to do. But I think he's happy about it. I would too. Oh my god! Indie Phantom's here! This deserves a fucking a fourth of a shot. Indeed, here's to the decline of my health. <laughs> and here's to you being here, being back with the woke pack. Live. He's fucking back, fellas. Back. Indeed, we're glad you're fucking finally here, mate. No, wait, not mate. A. Oh, cheers! This is a tequila shot for you, you fucking Canuck. I love you. Woo! <laughs> we love you! <sighs> alright, alright, alright. Back to it. Fucking Kanye's wife. Being naked. Let me zoom in for you guys. Are pretty much almost naked. Look at that. Look at this. This chick enjoys having this rubber shit <laughs> on her pussy and asshole. 
<laughs> being stretched between a crack all the way up as she walks down the street in high heels and nothing else. Nothing else. Oh my god, this is crazy. You gotta love this. But don't worry, she wasn't alone. You know, the Yeze was right behind her. He also got off in his white Assassin's Creed with no hood this time. He put the hood down. So you know it was Yeze. It wasn't the bodyguard or some double or nothing like that. They're the real stuff right here, motherfuckers. Alright, Yeze. Cheers, Yeze. <laughs> Um, God bless this couple. One of the most provocative couples of our generation. Some of the best, I gotta say. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, these guys are transcending time. Uh, they're transcending everything that's ever been. And uh, God bless them for doing that. Uh, cheers to Yeze and his wife. Alright. We're done. The pop culture breaked out. And we're going to move on to the weekly comic book nerd shit. Oh yeah. Comic, comic book, book nerd, nerd shit. Oh yeah. Cheers, motherfuckers. We're going to start off with a rumor. They're probably going to end up being true. But there is a Beatles biopic in the works currently. And these are the rumored guys they have picked to play the Beatles. Harris Dickinson is going to play John Lennon. Did the motherfucker that came out in the fucking, uh, what was it? The Iron Claw. All right. I forget which of the Von Erics, the tall one. He was the, 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 the middle guy who got died. The tall one who died with a, a spleen, supposedly. It could have been an overdose thing. That's a, a rumor. Paul Miscal, this guy was going to be the Human Torch, but they they, they beat him to it. Uh, he's going to be Paul McCartney. And then uh, Barry Kogan, this fucking Ezra Miller son of a bitch is going to be Ringo Starr. And then Charlie Rowe is going to be George Harrison. Um... I don't know about this Ezra Miller motherfucker because they all have big eyes and this motherfucker looks Asian. That's where they fucked up. Actually, this motherfucker should have been John Lennon. John Lennon has the Asian eyes and shit. That's say one thing about the fucking Harris Dickinson. That's a little bitch is tall as fuck. So I don't know how this these motherfuckers better be all the same height, height and shit. Um. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. I don't know about this. Like I said, the Ringo Star. I guess they just needed a dumbass to look like Ringo Star. And they said, this guy looks fucking weird enough. He could be Ringo Star, the fucking dumbass, the weird looking one with the fucking weird looking shit. He, he doesn't have a, an ounce of talent in his fucking body. He's lucky that these guys looked after him and gave him some money and said, here, just play the drums and do this and shit. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Pussy. They even... These motherfuckers were so goddamn high, they fucking let him even do songs. He's idiots. Fucking dumbass. Fuck you, Ringo. People made your songs, they remade them better. Son of a bitch. And everybody's like, oh, that's such a badass song. Ringo Starr's bad. No, Ringo Starr's not badass. Somebody else made it better. That's not, that doesn't make you badass if somebody makes your song better. Fuck you. That makes you a dumbass. That's what I'm going to say. Fuck you, Ringo. We're moving on. Uh, yeah, I did like him in that the caveman movie and shit. Yeah, with the uh, was her name, uh, Shelley Long was in that fucking movie. Oh, and that fucking football player guy, I forgot what his name was too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about the only thing I like that asshole in. Everything else, he's ass. All right. One thing they showed this week, you guys. They showed a fucking trailer to Alien Romulus. And it looked disgusting as fuck. And now that they said that these are not CGI, it is all practical shit. They used real acid to burn that shit. 
That's insane. Practical. No CGI. That shit penis going into that guy's mouth. That was a real shit they used. Uh, yeah, yeah, they made it slimy for the guy to put have in its mouth. He liked it. He liked it, fellas. It's okay. Uh, they hired him because of that. That was part of the audition. <laughs> um, this looks fucking badass. This trailer, and I will say one thing: it looks like not only reminiscent of the first one, but this looks more horror, horror like. This is more horror, is what I thought when I saw this. It looks good. Um, I want to see more. I mean, it's obvious all these characters are going to be gay and lesbians and transsexuals and non-binaries. You know, if you can get past that little hurdle, it visually looks like this could be good. It really does. You know, it's got reminiscence of ass and shit. Uh, but yeah, there's that penis trying to go in that guy's mouth. I mean, that's right there is uh, exactly what's wrong with every movie nowadays. But it's okay, you know. They gotta have a little bit of sexualization for the children. It's for the children, fellas. Apparently, that's kind of the fucking shit you voted for, dumbasses. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, I I'll give it a shot. This would be better in Prometheus and shit and Covenant. Because even though the designs were beautiful, the movies didn't make no sense. And you had to go online and watch some fucking 20, 30 minute video of some nerd explain it to you. Because the goddamn movie wasn't written good enough. And the deleted scenes were cut out that didn't explain what the fuck was going on. Fuck you, Ridley Scott. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that shit. So I hope Alien Ramones... Turns out to be good. That's all I'm saying. I just, you know, I mean, right now that 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 penis going in the mouth. I mean, that is kind of good. That's all I'm saying. I mean, oh yeah, Cheers! <laughs> Um. Anyways, enough with the Romulus and the penis in the mouth. Uh, but so we are talking about gay shit. The Last of Us, uh, season two, has now said. That uh, I think they finished filming the first the season two already, and it says it's actually only gonna have seven episodes. That's way less than the last one, and shit. And it said the reason is because they're gonna stretch the season two. I mean the move the the game Last of Us Part Two. They're gonna stretch it into two seasons. So season two and season three will basically be the whole game two. Which makes sense. And I think season one will end with Hoyt getting killed by Abby Smash. Who's going to be all dainty and sexy and shit with a little thin waist. I don't understand why they casted Caitlyn Denver to be that. Um, But she's the one that's going to kill Hoel. <sighs> like I said, I, I said it when it ended. I said season one was great and amazing, and that's it. We're not, that's it. Season two is going to suck ass. I said season two is going to suck ass. Season three is going to From here on, it's not going to be good. I've already called it uh, before it even starts. I'm telling you. We've seen the best of it. This is it. It's like MCU. This is this is uh, the Infinity Saga with season one. That's it. Everything else you're going to see from here on is going to be ass. Just you wait. That's not disrespecting the actors. That's disrespecting the goddamn fucking ass. They're gonna feed you. Just you wait. I think I'm lying. I'm telling you. That's what's happening. Pedro Pascal's making fucking Corona commercials coming out there in the beach drinking a fucking lemon and shit. There's a reason this shit's happening because he's done with his ass. Kill him. And that's what happens to him. Once people find out that the, the, the non dumbasses who don't know the fucking games, who are excited, when they find out that he's gone, that's it. No more viewership. shit. He's gonna give a fuck about no lesbians. That's all I'm gonna say. We're moving on <laughs> to, <laughs> to the main ass of this week. And it's none other than Venom, the last ass. Or dance, or whatever you want to say. And it's exactly what we talked about. Uh, well, I mean, I'll elaborate into this. 
So here is the parts from the spoilers and the leaks we've been knowing for the past year. My boy Chai, I don't know his name. Chidrifro Adolfrikofo. Some shit like that. I just call him Chai. The motherfucker's legit. He plays Baron Mordo in the MCU. Remember him? Well now, instead of being in the under universe, he's some fucking guy who's head of a or of the government organization. They call themselves the jury. It is like a task force that goes after symbiotes. And he's already captured some, you see. They, they fucking landed. Those fucking shits, they landed. And he already caught them. The government caught them. And they have them trapped. And they're trying to catch Eddie, Brock, and Venom. Um. Alright. It's already confusing that you're using an actor who played a completely different character in the MCU. You're using him now in this movie playing another character. That's confusing enough. But how the fuck does Sony explain in the trailer the scene where now they show the little Venom symbiote that was left at the end of No Way Home at the end of credits. And they show this guy catching it. So what? This guy has some way to teleport from universe to universe? Fuck you, Sony and Amy Pascal, you fucking idiots. They don't know what the fuck they're doing down there, Sony. Fucking dumbasses. Oh, I don't even know what to say to this ass. I really don't. It's just, you're ruining the end. First of all, you, you went into, you took Venom into the MCU. And then you took him out. Like, he was there for like five minutes, drank a beer, and then he got taken out. And now you're showing this and saying, well, what, was he there or not, motherfucker? You don't even know what you're doing. This is fucking pissing me off. Here's something that was not in the spoilers. And a lot of people are saying is, the spoilers aren't real. The spoilers aren't real. The movie's different. Hey, God. Because I just told you this elements are real. There's Chai. There's the symbiotes. Because I told you there's going to be more symbiotes. One of them is going to be Scream. Toxin's going to be in there. We saw already Donnie Wahlberg or whatever his name is. was married to Jenny McCarthy. He's in the fucking movie and shit. Uh, and we saw all these motherfuckers. So there's going to be more symbiotes. Just like I said. And it's going to be these guys. And I thought they were going to be wearing Iron Man suits. But Sony is not that cool. So they just looked like soldiers with armor. But that's the jury. Code named the jury, and he's in charge of it. But here's something that was not in the spoilers. And they're adding, and I think this was in the reshoots after COVID. They're adding a new element. They're adding the Xenophage, is what they're called in the comic books. And the Xenophage are a parasite or a creature that landed in the planet of the symbiotes and it feeds on symbiotes it eats symbiotes and so they're gonna say in this movie the new story here I, I can already piece it together they're gonna say in this fucking movie that the symbiotes actually ran away because this thing destroyed their planet and their species and they all came to earth just to multiply and spread and this thing finally finds where the hell they went and it fucking falls just like an asteroid here to Earth. And it's hunting. So now you have the government hunting Venom, but you also have this alien hunting Venom to eat him. Uh, it looks nothing like what I'm showing you. From the comic books, it looks fucking weird. And in the toy, because there was a toy in the 90s, it looks even weirder. It looks like a fucking, I don't know, cow head or something. Um, th this is this is just like nonsense. Like you're just reaching for the stars here with all this craziness. Um, there might be a chance that they're still gonna make this even worse 
Because in the trailer, you see a little boy, a young girl, an old lady. And they're saying that this is fucking Aunt May. This is Mary Parker and Peter Parker. And that the spoiler is true. And that Venom is actually also at the same time, he's running away from the government and running away from the alien. But he's also protecting Peter Parker, 10 year old. And this is Sony's Peter Parker in the future, which is going to suck ass if that's what they're doing. And the reason why I say this could still be true is because, you know, this is Sony. They already confused with you with Baron Mordo and they're confusing you with the goddamn fucking uh, symbiote little thing that was left behind. Where well, they're going to confuse you even more because, God damn it, they got Raya Sifan, the lizard, to come out in this movie. As some kind of hippie. Is he playing Dr. Connors on the run? I don't know. He has two arms. So he's definitely not Dr. Connors. What the fuck? He's playing a hippie. Then, and you see there, that's the little boy. That's the same little boy that's in this picture. That's why I'm saying that is probably Peter Parker. And they're fucking running away, hitching a ride to Las Vegas. And that's where they hitch a ride with these hippies. And they're going to Las Vegas. And ass. And he goes and he dances with the little Asian woman. Y'all saw that on the fucking trailers. And you know what? If you still... They're going to be a failure. But if you still don't believe that this is all ass. Here it is. The horse's ass of the trailer. I know you all saw this ass. I know you all saw this. Fuck you. He charged the fucking horse in the venom. And then, oh my god, it looks so fucking dumb. <sighs> Fuck you, Amy Pascal. Fuck you, Avery Averitt. Fuck you. Uh, there's another chick that Tom Hardy named, I forget, some Jewish lady. And fuck you, Tom Hardy, too, because you were in the end of process of writing this, whatever this ass trash is going to end up. This is going to be a failure. No one's going to see this. No one's going to see this. And the critics, if the critics, there is no way in hell any critic is going to like this ass. Oh, this is the best Venom movie ever. Shut the fuck up. That ain't going to happen at all. Just by looking at the trailer. You couldn't even make the trailer look good. You dumbass. Oh. What a fucking disappointment. What a fucking letdown. The end of Venom. Because it's the last movie. Good. Give it to Kevin Feige. And let that fucking faggot make something better out of it. Fuck you. Tom Hardy and Sony. Fucking shit up. Uh, they fucked up Carnage. They're going to fuck up Scream. And the rest of the symbiotes are going to come out. They're all going to come out. Riot uh, Toxin's going to come out. Uh, Riot already came out. Uh, the other motherfuckers, the green one and the, the yellow one and shit. They're all going to come out. They're all it's going to be there. The full bunch of separation anxiety ass with the jury. And fucking little Peter Parker. And 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 and, and, a, and apparently some kind of motherfucking uh, uh, scorpion from space who eats symbiotes. Oh, this crazy ass movie, Jerson. <laughs> you dumbass. And why you lose money? Money thrown in the grave. If, hey, if you want this kind of fucking ass, why don't you just give me the money? I'll fucking take a shit on a piece of paper and mail it to you. That's the equivalent of the fucking shit you just showed us this week. You dumb ass. That's it. I'm done with this fucking Sony ass. They disappointed me till the end. Oh my god. You motherfuckers. Oh my god. I have to stop everything. Because Jose Trevino's here! <laughs> Jose Trevino, I'm going to take a quarter <laughs> of, a sh of a shot for you. Here we go while I play your intro. 
motherfucker. Repites tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? <risa> Tienes envidia, puto. Woo! Cheers, Jose yo, you son of a bitch. You're killing me. I love you. All right, I got my water. Cheers. All right, Trevino, stop interrupting. I'm about to get into the shit, literal shit ass of the show. And it's none other than the Acolyte, the woke Star Wars show that just came out, two episode premiere. And before I go in and trash it, like, you know, I usually trash everything. I'm going to try to be a uh, motherfucking, you know, one of these motherfuckers, uh, you know, like fucking, you know, give it a chance or some ass. I mean, let me tell you the good stuff. I can never, never. Deny Disney, Star Wars, Lucas, Industrial Light, or whatever the fuck these assholes want to call themselves for their visual effects. This is movie quality. Looks better than anything. Anything. Marvel or DC or anyone has ever produced and shot on their movies. This is a TV show. And it looks better in the movies that DC and Marvel and Disney have put out. Uh, I give it up to, to fucking the VFX teams. Uh, the best. The best fucking uh, VFX people th that they currently have hired. Uh, because every other studio has a bunch of woke motherfuckers with shaved heads with the lesbian haircuts and ass. Asking for like three days off and fucking mental health days and ass and, and racism and all his ass. Anyways, these motherfuckers, he knows what the guy knows what they're doing. Um, so I give it up to that. Uh, let me get into the show, motherfuckers. One of the main issues everybody wants to talk about, and I do want to hit on it because I noticed it right away too. This is probably the most ethnic show I've ever seen in my life. There's literally like two white actors and they both die. I'll get into that in a little bit. But this is the main cast for the whole show. Blacks, Asians, Puerto Ricans, uh, Chinese motherfuckers, uh, Japanese motherfuckers, Jamaicans, uh, fucking, you know, Polynesians, Mexicans, a little girl right there. This motherfucker is like a black skin. They're, they're fucking Carlos Mencia. Uh, his son is in this. The fat motherfucker back there. Um, that little girl. She's a she's the Daphne Kane or whatever. The one who was like Laura in the X twenty three for Logan. Little girl grown up. And she's also gonna be the same little girl in the new movie for Deadpool three. Um, she's gonna come out too. Yeah. Fucking. Did the first Star Wars anything with like zero white people? Yeah. There's literally only two characters that are white, and I'll show them to you. And, uh, well, maybe three. There's a guy who comes out for like two seconds, and then you never see him again. Fuck you. That doesn't count, motherfuckers. I don't like talking about motherfuckers that have lines and shit. Come out more than three seconds. Fuck you. There's literally only two motherfuckers, and they die. And too much to everyone's surprise, the main one, the main white actor that dies right away, is Carrie Ann Moss. In the beginning, the way it starts, the first 15, 10 minutes maybe, it's this little girl, little black Jamaican girl with like fucking Rick James little dreadlocks and shit. Rick James, bitch. She fucking goes and attacks this fucking Jedi Master and she wants her dead and shit. And she's trying to attack her with like like knives, throwing knives at her. And shit. And it's badass. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it pisses me off at the same time because my biggest gripe about all this is that, like I said, it pisses me off is that, hey, 
how come in the original trilogies, original Star Wars, nobody used, nobody, not even, like, I get it, maybe the main actors didn't have to, but nobody in the backgrounds, nobody used this crouching tiger, hidden dragon bullshit. Everybody had guns, and that's how they fought. Nobody used this crouching tiger, hidden dragon shit, so how come everybody does all this fucking karate shit that never used to be in Star Wars? That's what fucking bothers me. That's what really, really fucking bothers me. I don't give a shit. She's black and they're women, lesbians, whatever the fuck is going on. That's really what bothers me. But here you go. The ass in the face and the slap, the bait, the clickbait Kathleen Kennedy did to you. Carrie Ann Moss. Trinity. This lady's hot as fuck. This lesbian fucking lady still got better with age. Trinity. They advertised her. They have her on a poster. She's going around doing media phone calls and shit. And little fucking podcast. Not this one because we don't have money to pay her ass. All the motherfuckers do. Uh, privileged f motherfuckers. Fuck you. Anyways. Uh, yeah. The parading her around like she's going to come out in every episode. She's the main actress. Fuck you. She dies within the first 10 minutes. This little girl kills her. She puts her guard down because she tries to kill an innocent and she tries to save him. But when then they fucking throws the knife in her chest. Which another thing is, it's a knife in the chest. Fuck you. In the other Star Wars, the motherfuckers got... To, remember we were complaining, Reva? She got stabbed by Darth Vader in the fucking chest right there in the fucking stomach. And she survived. Fuck you. It's a knife. And this one dies. It made no sense. The first white badass Jedi over here fighting Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, which I don't like. It was cool choreographed and shit, and it looked badass, but it just still pisses me off. But I'll give it like that. If you want to represent it, says a woman's being a Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, then how the fuck do you kill her in the first 10 minutes and she's like your star actress and shit? Fuck you. Uh, Indy says she's coming back as a Force Ghost. Uh, the Asian dude, Edgar Sanchez says the Asian dude looks like Ezra Miller. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get to that motherfucker in just a little bit. Um, let's get into the plot, I guess. Break it down for you. There's basically two little girls, two little black girls, and her name is Osha, and the other one's May. And they live down on some planet in the woods because they're poor and they live in the jungle and shit. And the one of the little girls, I think it was May, she started a fire. And the fire spread and the Jedi arrived and the Jedi tried to save the family and the little girls. But the only person they could save was May. Everyone else died. And so they took her in. She was like eight or nine. They took her in. And they, they tried to train her to be a Jedi. But because she was too old. Because, you know, they told her she's too old. But because they took her in as an orphan. They tried to train her anyways. But she failed. And she left the Jedi Order to just go be a mechanic or whatever. But she knows a little bit about the Force. Well, now they find out that the... May, Oshi or Osha or the other... Oh, May is alive. The other girl is alive. The one that thought that died and shit. And she's after the four Jedis that were there and tried to save them. I don't know why she's trying to kill them. Carrie Ann Moss is the first one. The second one, which is literally the second white guy in the series, is some Jedi who's taken a vow of silence and has been meditating ever since that shit happened. So it's mysterious already. Well, she can't fight him because he's got a force field around him. And so she finally just gets a poison from that Asian guy we were talking about. It looks like Ezra Miller. And she tells this son of a bitch, do the right thing. And the guy grabs it and he tells her, I'm sorry. We thought we were doing the right thing. And he took it. And so he dies. I know exactly what they're doing. Check this out. My theory right here. I'll bust it down for you. I'm probably already going to spoil it. I bet you this is so predictable. Kathleen Kennedy, fuck you. They're going to say that the Jedi, the Jedi Order, had a vision that the Sith were going to rise out of this little girl, this little black girl. Right? And so they went to kill her. 
the Jedi started the fire and they let the family and that little girl die. And the other one, which was the innocent one, they're like, we'll just take her in. We'll try to train her because that way the bat one's dead. Well, the bat one didn't die. But here's the shit that no one understands is what's going to end up happening because this little girl. Oh, one of the other Jedi that was there is this Asian dude, which made the plot thickens even more because he's the one that trains the little girl they adopted. So he knows the truth about what happened uh, that day. But I think what's going to end up happening is they're going to find out that the Jedi sensed the dark side coming from one of the little girls and they were ordered to kill her and the family. And they only saved one little girl. But what's going to end up happening because this girl, the one that's the good one, she has so much anger in her because she thinks my family died because this bitch started the fire. Even though the truth is going to be that the Jedi's started the fire. But she's going to get so much hatred in her that she's the one that's going to get pulled into the dark side and become the Sith. Not this other girl that right now is playing the bad guy. That's why they call her the Acolyte and she doesn't have a fucking red lightsaber. But after she kills her sister, because that's what's going to drive her to the dark side, and she's going to become the apprentice to it. That's what's going to happen. It's so obvious uh, to me. That's what I think it's... That's that's what they're going to do. Um, yeah. 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 This is still fucking ass. The other... The, the fourth Jedi is the Wookiee. They're going to go fuck, fucking find him. And try to stop her from killing him. I hope he does kill him. I want to see a Wookiee and shit. Uh, I don't know. I still don't know how they're going to tie this in to the other trilogies. And how they're going to fucking avoid fucking everything up. I'm honestly worried. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see what they do, man. I'm, I've, I've, I've been honestly worried about this. Um... Visually, like I said, they spend their money where it belongs. I cannot blame them for that. At least this is getting uh, spent in, in the visuals and shit. The actors, I mean, they're as good as they can be. They're not bad. They're not amazing either. And the only actor that was supposed to carry the whole show, you fucking killed right away. That's it. Carrie and Moss. Fucking killed her right away in the first fucking 10 minutes. Uh, she would have been an amazing character for the whole series. So, I don't know. First two episodes, I gotta say, the only thing that I'm happy about is visually. I mean, they spend the money on the sets and the shit like that. I can't shit on the acting. It's just acting. It's nothing special. It's just normal. Whatever. Uh, I do see a lot of the lesbianisms. Or whatever in it that people are complaining about. Not me in general. But people like Melanie Mack. The little racist little girl. Uh, I understand where they're coming from. I see it there. I see it. Uh, but the critics are loving this. With a 92% yesterday. I didn't, I, I'm didn't. i too lazy to check today. I was working. Dicks. Yesterday. The critics loving it. 92%. But the audience thinks this is ass at 30% yesterday. It's probably less. It's probably like 2% today. I don't know. I can't confirm it. I'm just throwing the number out there. My guess. It's probably at 2% right now. Nobody gives a shit about this. My God. It's a wokey. <laughs> uh they did that shit to Cad Bane. He lasted two, three episodes, and then they whacked him. Cad Bane was so badass. That was a, probably the only good stuff in that fucking season of that ass. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll give you the, my review for next week on this ass for the next following episode. We'll see how that ends up. Uh, but my final review, uh, don't watch this. No, this is not Star Wars anymore. This is Kathleen Kennedy's little fantasy world. And she doesn't care if you like it. 
She just knows that she likes it. And as long as she likes it, she's going to put it out there. And unfortunately, because there's too many nerds that are loyal to the Star Wars brand, even though they hate it, they still want to spend money because it's Star Wars. Those idiots. She continues to make some sort of profit with merchandise sales, really. Nobody gives a fuck about this. And that's why she's still in power. But I'll tell you one thing. The most definite sign that it's over and that nothing's ever going to save it is when they release this bullshit Mandalorian movie that they're making with Grogu. That movie, my prediction, is going to be a failure because nobody's excited about Mandalorian anymore. But if that movie is a failure, it'll only prove that Star Wars is dead. That's it. It's dead. That movie will be the final decision. People say it's already dead. But that movie, The Mandalorian, is their last and final flagship. Ah, oh, everybody loved it from the beginning. Hey, we'll see, motherfucker. The third season sucked ass, and the fucking second season, you fired Gina Carano. You idiots. So, we'll see. That movie's gonna end it. Or, might keep it afloat. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, let's let's move on, fuzz, to the main ass of this show. And it's the Marvel ass. Because none other than the Wasp, little, little sexy Evangelina Lily Lily. She has now said she's quitting Hollywood. And she has no contractual obligations to any studio or character they ever given her. She's done. She's done. She's out of there. She doesn't want to be wealth and famous and take part in orgies and sex trafficking of minors and Diddy orgies and a bunch of other shit. They tell you like Drake being into pedophilia. They not like us. They not like us. All this shit. She's done with it. What she's saying. I've made my cash and my millions. It's time to go home. I <laughs> go make some money somewhere else. Go open a fast food restaurant, a gas station, some shit like that. You'll still make some money, bitch. You won't regret it. You'll love it every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, I mean, it does raise the question is what is Marvel going to do? They're going to have to recast her with some chick that kind of sort of looks like her. Duh. But that just shows you the shitty, uh, the shitty management over there at Disney Studios that they didn't lock her down to a permanent contract knowing that this character is not dead. Or moved on like some of the Guardians of the Galaxy that say, Oh, I'm going to stay here with the kids from now on. Oh, I'm going to go be a dad. And that's it. I'm going to go with my grand. And that's like, that's it. That's their ending. They didn't give this chick no ending. She's, she's fucking married or in love or whatever with fucking Ant-Man and Paul Rudd. They made no sense. What are they going to do? Is CGI her face on some other actress? Some fucking uh, deep fake piece of shit. For you. That's how low the MCU has sunk. God damn it. Uh. Well, 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 well. She wouldn't have quit if she didn't have work. She'd be appreciated of still making a Marvel movie. You dumb bitch. Even you only come out for five minutes, that's still a paycheck. It's not my fault you're, you're spending it on fucking cocaine and rum every Friday night with your friends and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm saying. I don't know. There's some rumors or some ass about she wants to go help the poor and go in Africa and all this ass. I don't know. I don't know if it's true. I don't know. It might be. It might be. She one of these people, you know, the wokesters. Want to change the world with their money. Me, I just want some money. Fuck changing the world. The world can change on its own. The sons of bitches, they're not my responsibility. Fuck you. Give me some money. President Biden, you're fucking up. 
We need some stimulus cash for the economy, you idiot. I'm dying. Anyways, let's move on. Because Marvel and Disney is not the only... Uh, 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 oh yeah, Marvel and Disney are getting under other people's ass. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, yeah. The tequila's getting to me. Fuck you guys. Marvel and Disney are trying to get under other people's asshole. And I'll tell you how. Because Rob Liefeld, the creator of Deadpool. X creator because he sold it to them for money. That's how it works. Here's my my invention. Make billions. Give me a few thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how it was back then. He fucked up. It was his fault. It was his fault. Anybody comes over here and says, son of man, we want to sign you. I want, I want $400 million. They're going to be like, what? Yeah, motherfucker, I want some Kanye West. I want to be as rich as him so I can live right next to him and his wife. You want to sign the Son of Man the Underground Broadcast? It's going to be $400 million. Cheers. <laughs> and we're not taking a penny less, bitches. Rob Liefeld, that dumbass. He took it for five grand. You pussy. Your drawings. Deadpool, your ideas, five grand, that's all it's worth for you. You fucking spend it on cocaine and hookers that weekend, you idiot. Anyways, apparently, Marvel and Disney have gotten under his ass. He says, hey, my, uh, I'm not going to read the bottom one because it has nothing to do. Well, I'll read it because, you know, we need to kill some time. We don't have a show today. Anyways, he's, hey, I'm on a break, fellas. I'm going to be sharing episodes that are meaningful to me. Hope you give a listen. Sometimes he has a podcast and nobody listens to. I don't know. Like, whatever. Fucking Rob Field. Whatever you do. But anyways, he goes on and he continues. And, uh, and he says, my reps were screamed at today. We're not Fox. All right. Tell me about it. Also hung up on more suit. So apparently Disney, he called his reps. Hey, call him over. Tell him like, hey, are they going to give me some money for Deadpool Wolverine or what? Because some of that shit were my ideas. And the representatives called over there and Disney laughed. Ha 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 ha. And they hung up and shit. And he said, fuck that. I'm going to get my lawyers. We're going to go over there to Disney and fuck them up. Uh, and he says that on, on June 3rd, the, a little bit later, he says, the big corporations, they seek to intimidate no manner of ways. The little guys are always tasked with continuing to press forward despite the screaming and whining that that was my creation even though you paid me shit for it a long time ago because I'm a dumbass and I thought I was worth less money than what they really should have given me. That's all I'm going to say. Fuck you, Rob Liefeld. Complaining that hey, I need some money. I'm fucking 87 years old and shit, and I haven't done shit with my life but a bunch of drugs and hookers. Need some more money. Fucking complaining. Look, motherfucker, you better know in life how much you're worth, and you don't let anyone else tell you you're not worth that. I'm telling you, this broadcast is worth $400 million. Fuck you. Cheers. <laughs> and fuck you, Rob Liefeld. Thinking you're fucking worth more than what you asked for. You dumbass. That was your fault. You idiot. Um, I do want to talk more about the social media ask. Celebrities all have social media. So we do have a bunch of motherfuckers that like to be under social medias and shit. And God bless them too, because now we have nothing to talk about. But none other then on Sun Mount, Black Bolt has resorted to trolling because Marvel updates this piece of shit motherfucker who does things for clicks. He's stealing my idea. We do that in this channel, motherfucker. Don't we try to do our schemes? But this guy put the Inhumans from the Inhuman series. They're going to return all of them for Avengers Secret Wars. So on Sun Mount replied and retweet it and he said this is so interesting please tell us more about this contract I apparently signed in my sleep 
I'm curious to hear all the juicy details from a feed that's clearly not a click farm. It's shit. Tell me more about the paycheck I'm supposedly getting, because I'm still poor, and I'm waiting for them to call me. You dumbass. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had enough of these clickbait fake accounts trying to get clicks. Ah, somebody clicks on it, and fucking Twitter gives me five bucks. Fuck you. Nobody gives us money. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Fucking uh, my fucking Marvel updates, and, and my, that son of a bitch, they try to make lies about the Inhumans. Nobody wants to see Bolton over there raping and killing chicks after he fucks them, chopping dicks off of guys. Well, maybe some people. I don't know. Fuck you, Black Bolt. Something that happened this week that a lot of people have been all like, whatever about. I was all like, eh, man. But I was just like, you know what? Good for him. But let me go ahead and let you know exactly what happened. Jordan Peele from King and Peele, the guy who made all the horror movies by himself and nope and whatever that does, uh, some flying saucer and ass, was actually called in and asked if he wanted to direct. The MCU X-Men movie. And right away he said, fuck no. After he saw the script, he goes, no, no, no. I don't want nothing to do with this homosexuality, race swapping, identity, gender swapping ass that I just read. I want nothing to do with it. If it doesn't resemble the X-Men I grew up with, I'm sorry, Mr. Feige. Good luck trying to find someone who wants to do this. Hey, I heard Greta Thunberg or whatever the fuck bitch who fucking made the Barbie movie. I'm pretty sure I, that's not the right name in D-Phantom. You're going to call me out. But I don't give a fuck. That bitch that made the Barbie movie is available. Call her up, Feige. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. I'm not doing it. This is ass, he said. Good for him, Jordan Peele. I salute you and God bless you for, for knowing what you're reading and saying, oh, it's a Marvel movie. I'll do it. No, fuck you. Let me read it first. Not fuck this. I don't, I don't want to fuck this. I don't want no part of this ass. Yeah. He turned them down. That's what everyone say. He says, fuck you. You're trying to make Wolverine. It's kind of Latino trans woman. Fuck you. It ain't gonna happen. Not in my X-Men movie. You want you want something like that? Go get fucking, I don't know, go get Ezra Miller to make this movie for you. He's perfect for it. You dumbass. Yeah. I ain't doing it, he said. I'm done. Ain't gonna fly in my book. Cheers. Jordan Peele. We'll wait for your next monstrosity horror movie you make. You crazy son of a bitch. Front runner in Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige's idea to have to direct the next Avengers movie is none other than Deadpool 3's director, Sean Levy. This movie hasn't even come out and Kevin Feige is so fucking certain this is going to make a billion dollars finally. Since Sony slash Disney released Spider-Man uh, uh, No Way Home, they're finally going to be able to make a billion dollars they can keep to themselves without having to share with fucking Sony. Because they own Fox now. And the X-Men. They're so confident they're offering Avengers 5 to Sean Levy. Do it. They're saying, you're going to be gold from here on. The crazy part they're stating is that there's going to be over 60 characters in this movie. Heroes. And, and other side characters like Darcy with the big titties and shit. Um, and a bunch of other, that, that, that chick, what was her name? Uh, from the Hulk show. Uh, something with a 
Lydia with an eye or some shit. I don't know this chick. Other oh, chick with big titties and shit that was with Wong. And shit. All that, all that ass. They're gonna come out all these for this one movie for two hours, sixty side stories in one movie. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like ass already. Never been done. Never been attempted. Never been achieved. Fuck you, hi Feige. If you think you're gonna hand over this script over to this fucking motherfucker over here, this Jewish motherfucker, you think I'm gonna do a good job? Because you're gonna give him 60 characters. Yeah, anybody can fuck that up. And shit. You dumb ass. Uh, why? What happened? What happened to the MCU? My god. I'm moving on. Unfortunately, not away from the MCU. Because we did talk about last week how we saw the stunt double for in Captain America uh, Brave New World. We saw John Carlo Esposito's stunt double. And we also saw a drawing from a toddler who was there behind the scenes because his mom took him. Because the dad was on her fucking hookers and he's fall asleep. The next day, couldn't babysit. So she had to take the baby. Toddler. And the motherfucker said, then what he looks like. And he drew a piss ass shit figure. Looks like blade with knives, a gun, and an axe, and a cape. Well, here he is in all his glory. And it looks like the little kid was right. There he is right there, fellas. And his, the little kid's name is Christopher Okendo. And he has a photography. Apparently, he's ready to go to jail by putting his business on here. Pendejo. Uh, but yeah, there he is. He's going to lose his job over there at Marvel Disney because they're going to find out who the fuck took these pictures. A fucking idiot. Uh, we even have a video of Giancarlo Desposito doing some stunts. Some serious shit, y'all. Get ready for this. He's there. And like, all of a sudden, the cars start moving. Uh, I tend to take away the sound. Uh, but the cars start moving and they screech and shit. And he's like walking in between them shooting a gun at motherfuckers. He's probably spotting Anthony Mackie. He probably saw Anthony Mackie and he's like, fuck this guy. He thinks he's Captain America. Fuck you. Only Steve Rogers Captain America. Fuck you, Mackie. So he starts shooting at him with a gun. There he goes right here. Look. Oh, this guy's going crazy. Oh, shit. These motherfuckers, look at that. That was close to hitting him. Oh, fuck that shit. Look at the guy behind them. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. He kicks the door in. Get the fuck out of there, you pussy. This guy's crazy, man. It's a, a Carlo Esposito getting paid millions of dollars to be doing. I would have been like, nah, 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 nah. This is Marvel Disney. You're CGIing the shit out of all these cars. I'll walk down the street, but there may not be cars around me. I'm worth millions. Four hundred million dollars, bitches. You better fucking CGI the shit out of this Escalade. This, this, this fucking door that I kick in better be CGI'd. All these people around me. Be no one around me. I don't want no COVID and shit. Better be green screen everywhere. Motherfucker. Nothing's real. That would have been me. I don't put up with that ass. You're gonna pay me top dollar. You better go my way. And shit. It's um it's interesting to think who he's playing. Nobody knows. And and it might be a nobody character that will never be come out and know anything about ever again. But at the same time, I always think about what if it's like the introduction to Stryker? Because the movie we've said in the past is going to be about the governments wanting to take Adamantium from the Celestial. And, uh, and so that's what's happening. So, I don't know. He could be Stryker. The guy who makes Wolverine and the weapon, uh, the weapon program for Super Soldiers. 
where Wolverine is born, Weapon X. This could be. This could be. This could be Striker. No one's saying it, but that's just my guess. I'm throwing it out there. Because why would they give Giancarlo Esposito a nobody role that's going to die in one movie that they just made up for the movie? Not, not an actual character. Why would they give him something like that? He wanted to be Xavier. Or he could have been Dr. Doom. Is he going to be some fucking, oh, look at me. I'm just a guy with a gun. Oh, yeah. And I, look, I kick a door. Fuck you. Stay in your fucking car, you little Asian bitch. That's what he said. Uh, I don't know, man. This might be a racist movie. But we'll see how that ends up. Because I really don't know. I do have more spoilers besides this ass. Because apparently the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy or some kind of like maybe Asgard is going to be in it. Because there's pictures of them selling in a little booth the space rats cooked from Guardians of the Galaxy but it could also be from Thor it could be like from Asgard and shit because they're the aliens I don't know but that's going to be in the movie which also makes no sense the movie already has Hulk villains and shit god damn it ah space rats that's where we're at but we do have some good spoilers. A picture released of Diamondback. Uh, Rosa Salazar. Uh, not in costume. I guess she just got there off the plane. And she's wearing her pink wig. There's not even her real hair and shit. Um, and there you go. At least they're going to have pink hair. The perfect character for now. Ah, oh, is she a lesbian? Yeah, you're hired. Yeah, do you like pink? Yeah, you're hired. Well, good, because we just found a lesbian with pink hair that you're going to be. And it's already in the comic books. This is the only thing they're keeping in a serpent society because they had the entire serpent society in there. They had them all. They had Viper. They had fucking Seth Rollins. And they had that other little little girl, whatever, Mexican girl. There were going to be a bunch of Mexicans. We're going to be the snakes. All the Mexicans were going to be the slippery, sli slimy little snakes conniving. Can't trust them. That's the way Marvel was saying, not me. They were going to make them all the fucking Serpent Society, but they had to cut them all. And they only left Rosa Salazar in here shooting the reshoots and shit. It was another superhero. It was going to be some, some, uh, pal I can't say the word, but some Palestinian hating, uh, type of character. Uh, super, superhero S lesbianism. Maybe not a binary, but definitely born a woman. Might not identify as one. Uh, but I think they cut her out because of all the controversy and shit. And they don't want to take people take sides and not go see the movie. Already, this movie's in a lot of trouble. The fourth, the fourth fucking reshoots on this goddamn movie that they've rewritten twice. And they didn't even have a script for it. The first time they shot it. Oh. Uh, but here is the culmination and the actual proof that this movie's gonna fail whenever it comes out. Another fucking $400 million piece of shit thrown out the drain. Here is your star. Pissed off Anthony Mackie. Doing the fourth reshoots for this movie that never had a script to begin with. Oh yeah, he looks thrilled as fuck to be doing this. He says, I'm so glad Chris Evans passed me the mantle. And we're doing this. I'm sweating. This rubber suit that I can't unzip without somebody pulling my pants down for me. By the way, he, he he's fat and out of shape, so he didn't even fill into it. All of that's padding. Fuck you, Mackie. Look how loose that piece of shit is. Chris Evans would be pop bulging out of there. He wouldn't even be able to fit in it. And shit, skin tight with nipples. Dumbass. Fucking up, Mackie. Look at this. They, this is how lame Marvel and Disney is. Is the glasses he's wearing? He doesn't even have lenses because it's gonna be CGI. The 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 lens. Oh my god. Lame as fuck. Mackie looks thrilled to be doing this. He is thrilled. The time of his life. No regrets. This is what happens when you do stuff for money like a whore. You end up sucking someone's dick, taking it in the mouth. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do.
speaking of, you gotta do what you gotta do. Apparently, Benedict Wong is also gonna be in this fucking movie as Wong. Yeah. They need another hero that has nothing to do with Captain America in this. Because, you know, they have Hulk villains like the leader and the Red Hulk in it. And then they got stuff about Wolverine with Andamantiums. And they got Giancarlo Esposito who is playing a nobody for some reason. And they got Diamondback from the Serpent Society but not the Serpent Society because they cut him out of the movie. And now they're going to act Wong from Doctor Strange. And there's no Hulk in this, by the way. No Hulk in this. And you're right, Anthony Timmons. That's probably why they put him in here. Because they said, this movie's too serious. We need some of that Marvel humor in this. And so they brought in this guy who's just, everybody loves this guy. I mean, if you don't like this guy, you're a fucking racist. That's all I'm going to say. You're fucking racist. Uh, this guy's awesome. Uh, I love him. Uh, but he's in this movie and it's gonna be ass. That's all I'm saying God damn it, man, why? Uh, I don't know what else to say I don't know what else to do I don't even know if I even should but I'm gonna drink some more water. Fuck you! Marvel, Disney, and Kevin Feige. You dumbasses. You always have to fucking shit on everything we do. Always. From the moment we were born, you come out here. Fuck you. I do wanna say. I appreciate you guys for being here. I'm going to fucking, uh, I think I'm done ranting for the evening. And I'm going to give you some life advice to take home. And shit. Uh, and the life advice to take home is that if you're ever having a fucking dream, uh, where you feel like you, you're, you're fucking shitting and pissing on yourself then you should probably try to force yourself to wake up because you might have just pissed and shit on yourself. Word of advice. Cheers! We'll see you next week. What the fuck, man? Fucking running like lady, eh?